Mary Brown's new husband. Introducing himself. Think once. What if there is so much honey in a tree? The more we see of Mary Brown, the more we wonder. Season 19 Sister Wives show confirmed. Mary Brown is going to show everyone new surprises this season that the world has never seen. Don't delay and share this video to everyone. The real surprise is at the end of the video, but not without knowing an important one first in the intricate world of Sister Wives. The saga of Coyote Pass unfolds with twists and turns. Back in 2018, when the Brown family chose Coyote Pass as their homestead, the plan seemed straightforward. For wives for lots logical, right? Well, hold on to your hats. Enter Cody Brown, the maestro of familial complexity. As the patriarch pondered the landscape, a revelation struck. He desired a plot of his own, envisioning it as a haven for his offspring. A place where, in the future, the pitter-patter of little brown feet could find respite. So the lots multiplied, accommodating the evolving dreams of a growing family. Fast forward to the departure of Christine Brown. In a strategic real estate maneuver, she passed the torch, or rather, the lot, to Cody and fourth wife Robin Brown. The reason? To fund her relocation to Utah, turning a chapter in the Brown family chronicles. So the lots at Coyote Pass bear witness to a narrative of expansion, adaptation, and the occasional real estate shuffle. In this polygamous panorama, each plot tells a tale, echoing the unique journey of the Sister Wives. In a candid revelation during Sister Wives, Talk Back Part 2, Mary Brown finally shed light on the varying sizes of lots at Coyote Pass. The discussion unfolded as the cast revisited the season 18 finale, a pivotal episode where Mary disclosed her decision to leave the family while being present at Coyote Pass with Cody. Addressing a viewer's question about the seemingly disparate lot sizes, Mary explained that the Browns had purchased them in different size lots and clarified that's just how they came. Despite Mary expressing frustration about not receiving what she deemed a fair share, it appears that the allocation was arbitrary. Christine Brown, however, proposed a solution to rectify the perceived inequality. She suggested bringing in a surveyor to divide the land into four equal lots, aiming to create a more equitable distribution. This pragmatic approach reflects Christine's desire to address the discrepancy and ensure fairness among the family members. As the Browns navigate the complexities of their shared property, the idea of a surveyor stepping in might just be the key to achieving a harmonious resolution at Coyote Pass. I in the complicated land of Coyote Pass. The Brown family's property distribution seems to be causing some raised eyebrows and furrowed brows. Mary Brown, who's been holding onto the smallest lot, may be feeling a bit shortchanged now that Christine has exited stage left. The rationale behind the initial allocations was tied to the number of offspring, but with the ever-shifting dynamics and estranged relationships, does that logic still hold water? Money talks. And both Mary and Janelle are investing their hard-earned cash into the land. Cody's vision of having specific lots for the kids loses its luster when considering the strained bonds with some of his offspring. Christine's departure also shines a light on the issue of inequality within the sisterly real estate portfolio. Should Mary be stuck with the petite plot? The math isn't adding up for some fans in the discussion about a Coyote Pass land redistribution.